I'm going to show you how to create a Google Calendar that can be subscribed in iCal, Apple Calendar, iPhone Calendar, uh, in a way that the Apple Calendar will automatically refresh any changes you make to the Google Calendar. This has been a challenge for a lot of people because they don't know how to do this. Now, there are two parts to this. In the far part one is actually creating the calendar in Google and getting the correct link to share with the other person who is subscribing via Apple Calendar or iCal. So that's what this video will be about. Part two, which I'll make in a separate video, which will be the link to that video will be in the uh, notes below this one. Part two is going to be how to properly subscribe to a Google Calendar within Apple or iCal so that you actually get updates from the Google Calendar. So let's do part one first. How do you create a Google Calendar so that iCal people can subscribe to it, Apple Calendar? Uh, you go to Google Calendar and then you scroll down and you click uh, the plus button next to other calendars and then you click on create new calendar. Okay, and then I'm just going to do test calendar here and click create. The tricky part is once you've done this, you can't configure it on the same screen until you click on the configure button down here. Now, for some reason, if you forget to see that goes away. So if you somehow forgot to how to do that, you then um, let's say you got went back to the original place here. You just go to test calendar or whatever you created. Click on the three dots and click on settings and sharing. All right. So now this is how you configure the calendar. Uh, you don't have to make it a public calendar. Uh, you could still share it with iCal or Apple Calendar people without making a public. So I'm going to show you how to do, you know, create a secret. You can make it public and that's, you know, that's up to you. The information will be searchable on Google, etc. I've never personally found a app, you know, Google Calendar via Google searches. But anyway, that's just a, a warning from, from Google. So I'm not going to make it public. And here's, I'll show you which link you need to give to the Apple iCal people. So scroll all the way down to the bottom. Sorry. Um, and what you need to do is to, is to find the secret, sorry, find the secret that you've got to scroll down far enough until you find secret address in iCal format. And all you have to do is click on copy to clipboard. Okay. You should not give secret address to other people. Got it. Because this is a secret calendar, right? It's not a public one. So click OK. And now it's been copied to clipboard, meaning if I, if I open an email or open a document or something, uh, if I'm sharing the, the link, I can just simply paste it. So I'll show you. I paste it in there. And there is the secret link. It, uh, the key is that at, at the end of this long link is a dot ICS. And that is the link you need to give to the Apple Calendar iCal person to be able to subscribe properly. So uh, the next video, again, the link to that one will be in the notes below. I'll show you how to properly subscribe to an Apple or iCal calendar uh, so that you can get Google Calendar updates in real time or as close to real time as possible. All right, so let's go there.